So we have a question. Is it possible to get work permit after one year of study in Canada? Okay, so I'll say this. It's very much possible for you to get work permit after one year of study in Canada. But the problem is that you're only going to be able to get one year's worth of work permit. The issue with that is most employers will not be willing to employ you full time. They can employ you part time, but most will not employ you full time because they don't see that longevity with you. You're not gonna be working for them for a long time. Most employers want you to work for them for at least two to three years, okay? Now you don't have a work permit that allows you to work for two to three years. On top of that, you're, you're only getting probably part-time jobs. Another issue with that is, it's gonna be difficult for you to be able to transition to probably applying for your permanent residency or exploring express entry routes or, you know, provincial nominee programs and, you know, the likes. It's gonna be difficult for you because one of the requirements is that you have at least one year's worth of work experience in Canada, working full time, or you have two years worth of work experience working part-time. Now you're working part-time and then you only have one year's visa. So how do you qualify? Most students right now, international students who came to Canada to do one year programs are in a fix right now. They're in serious trouble because they finished their one year programs and they're finding it very difficult to transition to something else, to another, you know, program after getting their work permit. They're finding it difficult to get full-time jobs. They're only getting part-time jobs. And now they're ending up with going back to school again to do another program, paying tuition fee again, the same tuition fee they ran away from the first time. All right? So my advice is that you get it right the first time around, okay? Unless you're applying for um, a, a master's degree program, if you're going for a master's degree program, a one-year master's degree program, that's fine because it's a master's degree program. Once you're done with it, then you can now explore the different express entry routes or PMP routes that are available for you to apply for your permanent residency. Okay, or maybe apply for your work permit if you want. But if it is not a master's degree program, if it's like a diploma or a certificate program or anything of that like, make sure it's a two year program, not a one year program. Because with a one year program, you apply for work permit, you get a one year work permit. With a two years um, worth of um, uh, program with a two years program you can and you apply for a work permit you get a three years worth of work permit with three years worth of work permits you can get a full-time job now the employer is looking at you like okay this person is this person can work for me for three years okay so yes I'm willing to employ this person because they spend a lot of money as well you know recruiting a lot of money goes into recruitment for them. They don't like spending that money, okay? So they can't afford to employ you for only one year, only to go look for another person to, to take your place again after one year expires. No, they want someone that can stay with them for at least three years. So if they're wanting to do recruitment again, it will be after three years. That's a bit understandable for them, okay? so. Make sure you get it right from the get-go. If you're not coming for a master's degree program or a PhD, you're coming for anything lower than a master's. An undergraduate program, obviously, will take you three to four years. Anything lower, post-grad programs, certificate programs, diploma programs, make sure they are for two years. 
just to make things easy for you. Okay? All right. I hope this video helps someone. All right? Make sure you like this video and follow for more value.